Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Microsoft error code that is 0x8073CF6. So if you're unable to install application or game from store, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to make sure date, time, time zone and reason is correct on the computer. So at the bottom right here, you can see the date and time. Make a right click on date and time. Click on adjust date and time and make sure set time zone automatically. If this is off, you can turn it on. Also set time automatically. If this is off, turn it on. And then click on sync now. Sync now is important over here. If you receive any error, click on sync now multiple times. Once you see a tick over here, now go to time and language, go to language and region and make sure your country is selected over here and then check. Still not working. The next step is to clear store cache using ws reset command so type in ws reset in a windows search box click on ws reset this will reopen microsoft store and then you can check still not working repair and reset store now for this type in store in windows search box make a right click on microsoft store go to app settings scroll down click on terminate first and then click on repair and once the repair is done now you can check still not working then perform reset so click on reset reset and once the reset is done, now you can open store and then check. Still not working. The next step is to delete Microsoft Store local cache folder. Now for this open file explorer, go to this PC, open C drive. Now open users folder, your username folder. Now open app data. If you don't see app data at the top, click on view, select show, put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder. Open the local folder, open the packages folder, scroll down and find Microsoft Windows Store. So here you can see Microsoft Windows Store underscore some alphanumeric character, open this folder. Here you can see local cache folder, make a right click and delete it. Once done, now open store and then check. Still not working. The next step is to start these services. Now for this type in services in Windows search box, click on services, find Windows update in the list, scroll down. Here you can see Windows update, make a double click on Windows update, set this to automatic, click on apply. Click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. Make a right click on Windows update. Click on restart. Now find Microsoft Store install service. Make a double click. Set this to automatic. Click on apply. Click on start if highlighted. Then click on OK. Make a right click. Then click on restart. Now find background intelligent transfer service set this to automatic apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok make a right click and then click on restart now you, you can relaunch store and then you can check still not working the next step is to run this power cell command this command is provided in the video description copy this command and then Type in PowerShell in Windows search box and then make a right click on Windows PowerShell. Make sure that you run Windows PowerShell as an administrator. Click on yes to allow. Paste the command over here. Hit the enter key. Now this process will take some time. This will install all the Windows default apps. And during this process, you will see some errors in red color like this. If you see this, ignore it. Let the process complete. Once this is complete, you will see everything red. Now you can relaunch store and then check. Next we should run this command. So type in CMD in Windows search box. Make a right click on command prompt app. Make sure that you run command prompt as an administrator. Click on yes to allow. Copy all these commands one by one. Paste it over here. Hit the enter key. Now, once you run all the commands, now restart the computer. And after the system restart, you can check. Still not working, you use mobile hotspot. So you can turn on the data on the phone, turn on the hotspot in your phone. Now turn on the data on the phone and then turn on the personal hotspot. Now you can connect to the phone network. You can go to Wi-Fi and you will see your phone network over here. Connect to your phone network and then you can check. Still not working, try installing game or app from library so open store and then you can go to downloads 
if you see your application or uh, game in the uh, downloads you can try to install it from here or you can go to library and if you find your application or game in library you can try to install it from here and next step is to uninstall and reinstall store now for this typing uh, you can just copy the first command these commands are provided in the video description copy it type in powershell and windows search box to make a right click on windows powershell and then make sure that you run this as an administrator only click on yes to allow. paste the command over here hit the enter key this will uninstall microsoft store from your computer it will be gone once you run the command once it is gone now copy the second command and then paste it on the same window hit the enter key this will reinstall Microsoft Store on your computer and then you can launch and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to run these command, these two command. Now for this, type in CMD in Windows search box and then make a right click on command prompt app. Make sure that you run this as an administrator. Click on yes to allow. Copy the first command. Paste it over here. Hit the enter key. Now this process will take some time. It will run a scan and once the scan is 100% complete, copy the second command, paste it on the same window, and once the second scan is 100% complete, then restart again. computer. And after the system restart, you can check. Still not working, run this inet cpl.cpl command. So type in inet cpl.cpl in Windows search box, click on inet cpl.cpl, and then go to advanced tab. Scroll down here, you can see use TLS 1.0, 1.1, 1.2, 1 1.3. Make sure all four are checked and then you have to hit apply. Apply is important, then click on OK. Relaunch store and then check. Next step is to update Windows. Now, for this, you can go to Windows Update or Update in Security and then click on Check for Update. Once all the updates are installed over here, then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can check. Still not working. The next step is to if you are trying to install any games, use Xbox app. Log in with same account in Xbox app install. So if you don't have Xbox app installed in computer, you, if you it is pre-installed in computer, you can launch it and then you can try to install the game from Xbox app. If you don't have the Xbox app installed, you can go to Microsoft website. The link is provided in the video description. You can run this exe file and then you can install Xbox app in your computer and then you can use Xbox app to install the game. Now but make sure that you're logged in with same account on store and with same account on xbox app so you can click on your profile icon over here yeah and then click on sign out then click on sign in and then you have to select the account which has the game or which has the game pass now you can once logged in go to xbox app launch xbox app click on your profile icon and then you can click on sign out and then click on sign in over here select the same account which you have selected in microsoft store which has the game or which has the game pass you have to log in with same account once you are logged in now you can launch uh, try to install the game and then check next step is to run gaming services repair tool for xbox go to xbox app click on the profile icon go to support option over here click on gaming services repair tool and then click on start repairing click on yes to allow and let the repair complete this process will take some time and once the repair is done you can close this and then check still not working the next step is to install xbox identity provider now for this you can open this link in a browser click on view in store open microsoft store if xbox identity provider is not installed you will see install button get option maybe update option update it in my case it is already installed still not working uninstall and reinstall gaming services to uninstall gaming services copy this command type in PowerShell in Windows search box, make a right click on Windows PowerShell, run as administrator only, and then click on yes to allow, paste the command over here, hit the enter key. This will uninstall gaming services from your computer, and then to install gaming services once again, copy the second command, paste it on the same window, hit the enter key. You will see install option or get option, click on yes to allow, and let the download complete. Once it is done, now you can check. Next step is to start these services. Now for this, Type in services in Windows search box, click on services. Now find IP helper, make a double click on IP helper, set this to automatic. Click on apply, click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. Now find Xbox services and at the very bottom you will see four Xbox services. 
make a double click on each one set it to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok again automatic apply click on start if highlighted click on ok again set this to automatic apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok automatic apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok now find windows update make a double click on windows update set this to automatic apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok now find microsoft store install service again make sure this is set to automatic apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok now find gaming services in my case the gaming services is still installing so make sure this is installed then you can start the gaming services so it installed now so let me go so game, make sure gaming services are running if not running make a right click click on start or restart and then you can check you have to relaunch xbox app and store and we have to install again make a right click click on restart and then you can check still not working the next step is to fix problems using windows update so open windows settings go to windows update advanced option go to recovery option here you can see fix problems using windows update this will reinstall your current version of windows your apps files and settings will be preserved so click on reinstall now this process will take some time and once this is done restart your computer and then check next step is to use media creation tool so if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 you can go to windows 10 and you can use media creation tool here you can see media creation tool click on download now and then you can run this exe file and then over here uh, click on accept by default windows 11 would be selected click on next select iso file over here click on next in windows 10 i think it will be update or upgrade option select iso file click on next and then you can save it to desktop and then click on save let the download complete this process will take some time and then click on finish let this close automatically it will take few seconds or maybe a minute to close now go to desktop make a double click on windows iso file make a double click on setup file and then click on yes to allow and then click on next click on accept here you can see ready to install by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so hit install after the installation log into the computer and then you can check now the last step is to reset windows 11 so if nothing is working you can reset windows 11 or windows 10 but uh, create a backup first because you will lose all the data application installed in your computer so you will lose everything you have to start everything from scratch now to for, for this you can go to windows update advanced option recovery option reset pc and here you can see keep my files will remove application and settings but keeps your personal files remove everything will remove all your personal files apps and settings so you can select the option which you want and then you can go for local reinstall or you can go for cloud download whichever you want follow the on-screen steps install it yep then set up your computer you have to start everything from scratch and then you can check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to use microsoft store and you should not receive this error anymore so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel